Faithful dog, I just don't see how God can keep forgiving me. I try and I try and I'm still not perfect. I'm eight. I should have achieved perfection by now. Well, if the Bible is true at all, then it's true that God loves enthusiastic screw-ups. Like you, Constance. I always thought God only liked me when I was perfect, and I try to be perfect, I really do, but I still screw up majorly. Constance, remember Peter in the New Testament? He was much more a mess than you. Remember the story about how they were out in the boat and the storm came up and... Okay, now I remember. Peter actually walked on the water to Jesus, and then he realized it was impossible and started to sink. Yes, and Jesus kept him from sinking anyway. Peter always rushed in with great sincerity and a great sense of purpose and managed to make everything worse. Chopped off the guy's ear. Exactly. And Jesus put it back on. Then Peter makes this impassioned speech about how everybody else might desert Jesus, but he never would. And, and Jesus said real sadly, You'll deny me three times before morning, and Peter did. He got scared after Jesus was arrested and told people he didn't know Jesus at all. Even earlier, when Peter was so impressed with himself, he was telling Jesus that he personally forgave people seven whole times before giving up on them. I know this one. And Jesus said, no, forgive 70 times seven, but I'm not that high up in my tables yet. Constance, it's what grown-ups call metaphorical language. Jesus is basically saying, keep forgiving forever because he forgives forever. Peter was a mess, but he kept trying and eventually became a leader among Jesus' disciples. Now that I think about it, there are lots of screw-ups in the Old Testament. David, Moses, Samson, and God forgave all of them. But even non-believers will find their lives are better when they ask forgiveness from people they've wronged and when they forgive people who've wronged them. I guess it's true that my really best friends are friends I screwed up with and they've forgiven me, and the other way around. I knew an agnostic whose whole life was predicated on her hatred of her father. She told horrible stories of what he did, and yet, when she was older, she went to him and talked to him, and he asked for her forgiveness, and she gave it, and both their lives were richer after that. Relationships can actually become richer and more real when there's forgiveness and understanding. Micah 7.19 You will again have compassion on us. You will tread our sins underfoot and hurl all our iniquities into the depths of the sea.